Hi guys, follow me on Instagram to never ever miss any of my crazy updates. Hi guys and welcome to another vlog. Today we are going to be talking about six six such SUVs which are not there in the Indian market, but they are absolutely brilliant and I personally love them. But before we get going, make sure to hit that like button on this video, subscribe to the channel, hit the bell icon, comment. Okay, do all that if you want to. Stop staring at my tire because it's going to be off. Let's get going. Number six on this list happens to be the Hummer. I know you guys are in shock that how is the car that he hates the most the number six on the list. The mechanicals are gone for a toss. The way this vehicle moves, the way it performs is absolutely below standards. It has a lot of body roll. Steering has absolutely no feel and feedback. I'm doing continuous corrections to the steering and I just feel that I'm going to be on the other side of the road. Well, I absolutely despise the H2 and the H3 but I'm actually a big fan of the H1. You know why? Because the H1 was a legend. It's a military truck. It is so big, it's so big. Okay, that's what she said, I know that. That you could accommodate everything and more. The ground clearance of the Hummer H1 happens to be 410 mm. That's more than double of the Mercedes G-Wagon. How did they manage that? Well, in order to ensure this kind of ground clearance, they had to make the car really wide. Look at the size of the cabin. It is so wide, it is so wide, it is so wide that I just cannot show you the other side from here. So they could put all the drivetrain in the center between right and left passengers. That's the reason why it is super wide and has such a massive ground clearance as well. The Hummer H1 only came with the option of V8 engines. There were four different diesel V8s over time and a petrol V8 as well. That's not all. It had got two fuel tanks and a center tire inflating system as well so that you could deflate the tires when you went off-road because you don't need all that pressure and you could reinflate them with the touch of a button inside the cabin when you got on-road as well. In fact, the popularity of the H1 is so much so that the cost of a 20-year used example happens to be rupees 70 lakhs in Dubai the cost of a new Range Rover. Meanwhile, you can get the H2 and the H3 for dirt cheap, around rupees 8 lakhs. Well, that's a bargain, but those are the cars responsible for the fuel crisis in the first place. This is the reason for the oil crisis. This is the reason for the environmental crisis. Which brings me to a fun fact. Hummer is going to make a comeback as a sub-variant of GMC and it's going to be powered by electric motors. The electric motor is so massive that it can take the Hummer from 0 to 100 kilometers per hour in 3 seconds, produces 1000 horsepower and hold your breath, 16 freaking thousand newton meters of torque. That's enough to take down the power grid. Driving the motor and off we go. And we really don't go much further because this engine is so freaking noisy. Now this is a petrol engine but sounds like a diesel and the ride is supremely lumpy. It moves all over the place. Which brings me to number 5. GM's rival, Ford's Lincoln Navigator. It's a massive car in terms, kid, that's what she said. It's a massive car in terms of size. It's so big, it's so big that the length is almost similar to the Maybach 57. Yeah, 5.7 freaking meters long. When you look in the rear view mirrors, all you see is navigator, navigator, navigator. It has humongous road presence. You drive it, people stare at you. You know what? It's the most expensive Ford vehicle ever. Ever. Okay, barring the Ford GT, it is the most expensive. The cost is around rupees 75 lakhs. Translate that to Indian currency, it would be around rupees 2 crores. Oui, ma. With not many people buying Ford cars, getting Lincoln, a rather unknown brand, over here makes no sense at all. But what makes the Navigator so special? It's extremely comfortable. It's so comfortable that the front seat has 30 freaking way of adjustment. 30 a Mercedes Maybach doesn't have that many. A Rolls Royce doesn't have that many. You know what is the top variant called? Black Label. Yeah, this car is not for teetotalers. But power comes in through a 3.5 litre V6 EcoBoost engine. The same one which also powers the Ford F-150 Raptor. But more on that later. It's the most powerful Lincoln car ever producing 450 horsepower and almost 700 Newton meters of torque made it to a 10 speed automatic gearbox. Why does it need so much power? Because it weighs 2.8 
टन्स दैट्स लाइक द वेट ऑफ फिफ्टीन हंड एक्टा कम से कम चालीस दस किलो का वजन होगा बिट एग्जेजरेटेड बट यू गेट द ड्रिफ्ट फन फैक्ट Ford owns Lincoln, which is akin to Toyota owning Lexus, Infiniti being owned by Nissan, and Acura being owned by Honda. So it's like Ford's premium brand. That's why a lot of the parts in a Lincoln are actually shared from a Ford car. Floor the pedal, and it takes some time to respond. Number four, the only Japanese car in this whole list happens to be the Nissan Patrol. Do you know Nissan actually got the petrol to India they gave it to us to drive it as well and then they realized it's going to guzzle all the fuel and more it has two engine options i believe one is a V6 and there's a V8 as well and nobody really buys the V6 because puny engine anyways the V8 is gas guzzling it returns a fuel economy of 2 freaking kilometers per liter it produces 400 horsepower and torque output happens to be 560 newton meters but what's more interesting this massive suv has a nismo variant the way it pulls <laughs> it produces an additional 28 horsepower along with 5 newton meters more although nismo had not tuned the car all they did was slap the nismo badge on the front fenders which actually leads to the increase in power of the vehicle try it at home put a musion badge on your honda it's going to become more powerful but don't take my word for it view from outside is just amazing i can see the roof of that kia car over there so what makes the patrol such an iconic car firstly it's a very old car dating back to the 50s it's gone through various generations right now it's very popular in the middle east and it is nissan's version of a land cruiser so yes it's got great on road presence and of course off the road it's brilliant and it's assisted by a slew of electronics as well we are in no man's land but sadly there's no diesel engine on offer although nissan has reconfirmed its plans of bringing it to the indian market well i don't think we're going to see any units except probably the test drive car or the marketing car or the media car which means three of those i'm so excited if nissan could have reduced the weight of this car it would have made the performance even better fun fact the patrol was actually sold in the indian market the second generation no we are in the sixth generation right now of the patrol but the second generation was sold as the jonga jonga means jabalpur ordinance and gun carriage assembly it was used by the indian army and a few units were also available to the public but no one was interested because of its high price eventually the jonga was replaced by mahindra's mm550 for the armed forces Yeah, that is some serious thrust, but this is an extremely heavy car. Number three, the Cadillac Escalade. Although a new model has been announced by Cadillac, the production version hasn't been unveiled. All thanks to the current pandemic, which is going on, the new model obviously solves the biggest gripe of the Escalade, which happens to be the poor interior. The Cadillac Escalade is GM's rival to the Lincoln Navigator. It's almost as big, slightly longer though, but. It has humongous amounts of body roll. The handling is poor. It does roll quite a bit. But in terms of bling factor, nothing beats the Cadillac Escalade. That's why it's a rapper's favorite. They see me rolling. Okay, okay. Let's not get into that. And that bling factor of the Escalade for the amplifiers when you slap on some chrome wheels on it. The top variant of the Cadillac Escalade is known as the Platinum. and in long wheel base guys it cost around rupees 75 lakhs which again translates to rupees 2 crores if launched in the indian market well general motors itself has left so there's no chance of cadillac making it here either power comes in from a 6.2 liter v8 motor which produces 420 horsepower and 624 newton meters of torque made it to a 10 speed automatic gearbox but don't get too excited yet it weighs 2.6 tons that's like eight kratas exaggerated fun fact the fifth generation of the cadillac escalade which is going to go on sale soon also gets the option of a diesel engine yes it happens to get a 3 liter inline 6 diesel motor which produces 277 horsepower and the identical 624 newton meters of torque it also gets akg audio tech with 36 freaking speakers but it ends up looking like an mg hector number 2 tesla model x the fastest suv on this list the most efficient suv on this list 
all thanks to electric power, the Tesla Model X P100D produces 600 horsepower and 1000 Newton meters of torque, all thanks to that 100 kilowatt hour battery pack, resulting in 0 to 100 kilometers per hour coming up in just 2.8 seconds, the top speed being 261 kilometers per hour. Should I go? Do it. All this is enough to shame a supercar in a quarter mile drag race. Damn. You know what? You don't feel guilty while driving a Tesla Model X because it has a range of 500 kilometers on 100% charge. So what makes the Tesla Model X such a brilliant car and why is it number two on our list? Firstly, it can seat seven. It's got gull windows, it's got a panoramic windshield and it has autonomous tech as well can self-drive, it can auto-brake using radar-based systems. Now you are in the autopilot. So it's basically driving itself. It's also got a massive, that's what she said, 17-inch touchscreen infotainment system, which is like a computer, or rather, it's a tablet. The Model X is the highest rated SUV in the world in terms of safety, and the top spec P100 deep performance is priced at rupees 82 lakhs, which translates to 2.15 crores in the Indian market. But the cost of running a Tesla Model X is rupees zero, as Tesla offers free charging via its supercharger network that can charge 16 times faster than public charging, taking just 75 minutes to go from nil to full charge. Fun fact, the Tesla Model X can dance. It has got a Christmas mode along with a dog mode as well wherein you can leave your dog inside the car with the air conditioning on and the massive screen will actually have a message saying, don't worry, the dog is safe. Number one, the Ford F-150 Raptor. It is the high performance version of the top selling vehicle in the world, the Ford F-150 truck. It is powered by the same engine as the Lincoln Navigator, which happens to be a 3.5 liter twin turbo EcoBoost motor that outputs 450 horsepower and 692 Newton meters of torque mated to a 10 speed automatic gearbox and weighs 2,500 kgs. Well, that's not a lot of weight because this is a truck. However, it uses a lot of aluminum to cut down on weight. And uh, 0 to 100 kilometers per hour takes 5.3 seconds, which is actually very fast for a vehicle of this size. However, it's really the suspension which makes the Raptor stand out. The Raptor has one of the best suspension systems on earth. The suspension is so good, it gives it a magic ride on the road. And yet the ride remains magical when you go off the road as well. In fact, the Raptor uses 35 inch tires on 17 inch wheels, which is very unique and something unheard of in a mass market car. <laughs> the profile of the tire it seems bigger than the wheel itself. Of course, it's got a slew of electronics, which makes it very capable off the road, but it's really the suspension travel, which is mind bogglingly phenomenal. At the front, it's got a suspension travel of 330 mm. At the rear, the suspension travel is a colossal 353 mm, but it's an expensive SUV. It costs more than the Mustang at rupees 40 lakhs in the US, translating to rupees 1.2 crores in the Indian market. A lot of cameras and assists. So, you know, to manually shift gears, you just press this button and you can manually take control of things. Fun fact the Raptor might be a truck, but it can shame a lot of luxury cars in terms of features and comfort as well. In fact, it drives like a super truck off the road. That's why it's also got a paha mode. Left foot on the brake, right foot on the accelerator, revving the motor, 2000 RPM and here we go. Absolutely phenomenal acceleration. All my camera equipment has fallen down behind. I know this list could have included cars like the G6x6, which costs rupees 7 crores in Dubai, or the G500 square, which costs around rupees 2 crores in Dubai. But since we already get the G Wagon, I thought there was no point including it here. So tell me, guys, which SUV would you like to see to be sold in the Indian market? But no matter what you say, all Indians are only going to buy that super SUV, which is named after coffee. Bye bye. Like the video, subscribe, share, sub kuch kar lo.